Hi there, today is Thursday 23rd June and our topic for today's Open Heavens is learn from your superiors. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another day to learn. Thank you for another day to be alive and strong and well. We ask, oh God, that you teach us in the name of Jesus. It's our desire that we do you more. Let us become more like you and do the things that you have us do in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayers. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Welcome once again. Learn from your superiors. And our Bible text is taken from 2 Kings, 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 11 and 12. I read from the New King James Version. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there no prophet of the Lord here that we may inquire of the Lord by him? So one of the servants of the king of Israel said, Elisha, the son of Shaphat, is here, who poured water on the hands of Elijah, the stove. And Jehoshaphat said, the word of the Lord is with him. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat and the king of Edom went down to him. First, the Lord. We see from this Bible text that it was required whether there was anyone who was around who actually had the spirit of the Lord, anyone who was a prophet. It means that this person asking required that there was a superior person a person who had superior understanding of God's word and God's presence. It doesn't seem like many of us, especially in this younger generation of mine, have decided to seek elders' advice. We feel all wise, all knowing by ourselves, but no, that's not the example that is given to us from today's reading. It was said, that Mr. Joel Shepherd said, is there no prophet of the Lord here? Someone who is older, someone who is more experienced, someone who knows the word of the Lord. For us to think that we are all wise or we know all things by virtue of our education or by virtue of the experience we've had in a short number of years, yes, there's no doubt about the fact that we know a thing or two, but people who are older than us, who have gone through terrains that we um, are just going through now, many years ago, do have experience that we can learn from. They have wisdom ancient wisdom that we can glean from and we don't have to reinvent the wheel we don't, we don't have to start all over again and it's not just about seeking them because we just want to have you know the knowledge that they have and know what they know it is also important to respect them to honor them because they have sacrificed and they are put effort, a lot of effort, to grow in the way of the Lord, to be with the Lord, and to have information that can help us praise the Lord. James chapter 5 verse 10 says, Take my brethren, the prophet, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Yes, you are you know, on a journey with God and you have your own experiences and you have your own encounters and God is dealing with you in several ways. But there are people who have gone ahead. There is always something to learn from our superiors. They have a lot of wealth of knowledge. They have a lot of things that they can teach us. You know, there's a particular line here where our daddy, Pastor E. was speaking about the fact that while Pat S.J. Elton was still alive, he used to visit him from time to time, every two weeks, to spend time with him, to soak in the wealth of Pat Elton's experience, the wealth of Pat Elton's knowledge. And we see how our daddy today is able to dish up wisdom, the blessings of God, anointing upon our lives. In the same way, we also need to be from the knowledge of adults, respectfully honoring and respecting the grace of God upon their lives so that we also will be able to pass all of this to a younger generation. I pray that God will help us to do this and to do it wisely in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We see in the Bible that even though it seemed that God had rejected a life, Samuel still had to receive, you know, the help of Eli to know that it was actually God that was calling him. People who have gone ahead of us have trained ears, trained eyes, and indeed a trained heart to be able to guide us in the right way. 
I pray that God will give us the grace to look out for our elders, to look out for superiors that we can learn from in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray for yourself. And Lord, help me to be humble, humble enough to learn, to learn from my superiors. I'm not going to feel too big, too modern, too educated, to learn from the old. Lord, give me a humble heart that I may learn from my superiors. Father, thank you because we know the help has come for us. Thank you because we receive this knowledge and wisdom from our superiors with thanksgiving. We give you all the praise, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.